hello everyone today i'm going to explain what do you mean by bounded above bounded below a bounded sequence the least upper bound of the sequence the greatest lower bound of the sequence non decreasing sequence and non increasing sequence so now just see the first term which is bounded above a sequence an of numbers is said to be bounded above if if there exist a constant m such that the whole sequence an is less than equal to m for each n so if the whole sequence is bounded from the above side by some number then that number is said to be the upper bound for the sequence and your sequence is said to be bounded above so this is the upper bound and your sequence is said to be bounded above so if you are given any sequence of numbers then this sequence is bounded from above above side if the whole terms of the sequence they are less than equal to some fixed number capital m and that capital m is said to be the upper bound for the sequence now just see for example if you consider an to be 1 over n then this sequence is less than equals to the whole term of the sequence is less than equal to 1 so this sequence this is bounded above by 1 moreover every number after 1 if you consider 2 you consider 3 all these are the upper bounds for the sequence 1 by n so this sequence 1 by n this is bounded above by the numbers 1 1.1 2 and so on so this is a upper bound for the sequence and your sequence is bounded above by the number 1 the next is bounded below so this is vice versa a sequence an of numbers is said to be bounded below if there exist a constant small m such that the whole sequence is greater than equal to that number small m for every and this is true for every n so your sequence it is bounded from the below side the whole term of the sequence your a1 your a2 all these numbers are greater than equal to some fixed number m then this number small m will become the lower bound for the sequence an and you will say your sequence is bounded below by the number small m for example if you again consider the sequence an to be 1 by n so now just see 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 and so on this whole sequence is greater than equal to 0 this is true for every n so this 0 will become the lower bound for the sequence moreover every number which is smaller than that this number 0 is the lower bound for the sequence 1 by n if you consider minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 all these numbers are the lower bound for the sequence 1 by n because your sequence is bounded below by these numbers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on so this sequence is bounded below the next is the definition of bounded so a sequence an is said to be bounded if it is bounded above as well as bounded below so if it is bounded above as well as bounded below 
or in mathematical notation what do you can say that bounded above as well as bounded below you can say that if there exists the numbers small m and capital m such that the whole sequence is lying between the fixed number small m and capital m and this is true for every n so your sequence is bounded below by this number your sequence is bounded above by this number so whenever these both numbers are given to us then we say that our sequence is bounded sequence so this is bounded by these two numbers right so the whole term of the sequence a1 a2 a3 until up to an and so on all these numbers are lying between the same fixed number small m and capital m now just see example 1 by n so we know that this whole sequence is lying between 0 and 1 so this sequence is bounded by the number 0 and 1 so this sequence is bounded sequence now just see one more example in which you can find out uh, the boundedness of the sequence an you have to check whether this sequence is bounded or not now what is this sequence this is 1 then 2 square then 3 square and so on clearly this sequence is greater than equals to 1 but we cannot find out a fixed number m such that this whole sequence is less than equal to that number so we cannot find out the bound from the upper side so this sequence is not bounded it is not bounded however this is bounded below and 1 is the lower bound of the sequence right so this is a lower bound for the sequence n square but that means this sequence is bounded below but we cannot find a such number such that the whole sequence is less than equal to that fixed number therefore this is not bounded above or you can say not bounded similarly if you see an example an to be minus n then this sequence is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on this whole sequence is less than or equal to minus 1 but we cannot find out a number small m such that this sequence is greater than equal to that number small m so this sequence is not bounded below however it is bounded above because this is your upper bound so this sequence minus n is bounded above by the number minus 1 but the sequence is not bounded below so therefore minus n is not bounded now just see one more example check whether this sequence an is bounded or not the sequence is minus 1 1 minus 1 1 and so on this whole sequence is lying between the numbers minus 1 and plus 1 and this is true for each n so therefore we will have this sequence um, this sequence has bound bound below as well as bound above so this sequence is bounded the next is the definition of non decreasing sequence a sequence an is of the numbers is said to be non decreasing if it satisfying this condition that an is less than equal to an plus 1 for whole hen means your a1 is less than equal to a2 is less than equal to a3 and so on so the sequence is basically increasing for example the sequence n if you consider this sequence the terms are 1 2 3 4 and so on so this sequence is increasing sequence now what is the checking criteria how you can check that your sequence is non decreasing or not or you can say increasing you ha- you can check in two ways either you can take the difference of n and n plus 1th term if this is less than equal to 0 or you can check that the ratio of an upon an plus 1 if this is less than equal to 1 now just see by using this whether your n is increasing or not so you have to consider the difference of n and n plus 1th term you take the difference of these two you will have this is minus 1 which is less than equal to 0 so this implies that your sequence is increasing sequence so this is a checking criteria you can take the difference of these two if this number is less than equal to 0 you will say that your sequence is non decreasing sequence similarly you can check the non 
increasing sequence so a sequence an of numbers is said to be non increasing if it satisfying this that an is greater than equal to an plus 1 for all n right means your a1 is greater than equal to a2 is greater than equal to a3 and so on that means your sequence is decreasing sequence for example if you consider the sequence to be 1 by n now this is 1 then half then 1 by 3 and so on clearly this sequence is decreasing sequence but you can check with the help of this criteria yet that you can take the difference of these two substitute the value of n and n plus 1th term take the lcm if this number is less than equal to 0 then this is increasing sequence and if it is greater than equals to 0 then this is decreasing sequence and in this case this is greater than equal to 0 so your sequence 1 by n this is increasing the other checking criteria is you can take the ratio of these two if this ratio is greater than equals to 1 you will say your sequence is Uh, your sequence is decreasing or you can say non increasing okay 